Two through threes and F and M bullets to rip through tissue. Better say your last goodbyes, cause your fam gon' miss you. A shooting star, so them headshots is not gon' miss you. A young coach, so I'm playing games with her mental. Reaction, bringing back to the stage, Gail Scott Herring. Uh, this is Black History. Um, this is him telling untold Black History at that time. Um, and we're gonna get into it. About our yesterdays and digging through the rubble. And to say the least, somebody went to a hell of a lot of trouble to make sure that when we looked things up, we wouldn't fare too well. And we would come up with totally unreliable pictures of ourselves. But I've compiled what few facts I could, I mean, such as they are, to see if we could find out a little bit of something. And this is what I got so far. First, white folks discovered Africa. They claimed it fair and square. Cecil Rhodes couldn't have been robbing nobody because hell, there wasn't nobody there. The white folks brought all the civilization because there wasn't none around. How could the folks be civilized when wasn't nobody writing nothing down? And just to prove all of their suspicions, well, didn't take too long. They found out that there were whole tribes of people in plain sight running around with no clothes on. That's right. The men, the women, the young and the old righteous folks covered their eyes. And no time was spent considering the environment. Hell no, this just wasn't civilized. And another piece of information they had, or at least this is what we were taught, is that unlike the civilized people of Europe, these tribal units actually fought. And yes, there were some crude implements, and yes, there was primitive art, and yes, they were masters of hunting and fishing, and courtesy came from the heart. And yes, there was love and medicine, religion, intertribal communication by drum, but no paper, no pencils, and no other utensils. And hell, these folks never even heard of a gun. And this is why the colonies came, to stabilize the land. Because the dark continent had copper and gold, and the discoverers had themselves a plan. They would discover all the places with promise. You didn't need no titles and deeds. Then they would appoint people to make everything legal, to sanction the trickery and greed. And back in the jungle, when the natives got restless, they would call it guerrilla attack. And they would never describe that the folks finally got wise and decided that they would fight back. And still, we are victims of word games. Semantics is always a bitch. Places once referred to as underdeveloped are now called mineral rich. And the game goes on eternally. Unity kept just beyond reach. Egypt and Libya used to be in Africa. They've now been moved to the Middle East. There are examples galore, I assure you. But if interpreting were left up to me, I'd be sure every time folks knew this version wasn't mine, which is why it is called His Story. That was Gail Scott Herring with the poem His Story, because it's his story. Um, how, how are the kids supposed to, or kids of color supposed to move forward if they don't know their they history? Um, our history has been suppressed from us. Um, we don't know who we really are. And every, try, every time we try to find who we are, it's a bad thing. Um, and, uh, you know, listening to all the stories of, you know, famous black people, uh, you know, that they want us to know in in February, that's not all. They, they telling us our end all be all is started in slavery and that's it. Nothing predates slavery. Um, and when we try to go look for it, it's a wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? How are these kids supposed to become something if they don't know where they come from? You know, uh, so we are a, 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 a race of people that 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 don't know our history or they don't want us to identify with anything. You know what I mean? Um, but I appreciate, you know, this poem and I appreciate him for this poem. It's like a time capsule that the younger generation will be able to go back to and, and just, you know, um, understand what happened in that period of time, um, you know. Uh, we Lost Detroit definitely belongs. Um, this song definitely belongs in the time capsule for future generations can go through it and see, you know, um, what happened in the past. You know what I mean? If we don't know what happened in the past, we cannot move forward. And this is the reason why I do old school reactions because, you know, you want to know what happened in the past or what came before what. You know what I mean? So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Two through threes and F and M bullets to rip through tissue. Better say your last goodbyes, cause your fam gon' miss you. A shooting star, so them headshots is not gon' miss you. A young coach, so I'm playing games with her mental.